Hello there people, welcome back to the EagleBot 83, where the past never dies. I am of course your host, EagleBite, and tonight we are going to continue a bit in Lagoon. Um, we'll see how long we play for. I've um, been doing a lot of stuff here and I'm actually kind of tired. Uh, but we'll uh, play for a bit and um, like I said, we'll see how far. Cheers! I at least want to see uh, the boss of Philip's castle. Let's see, um, see how that goes. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? We should be ready. Let's try to do this then, shall we? Yeah, looks good. All right. Check this out. Oh, wait. Should be able to uh, just start this continue. Right? Phillips Castle. Yeah! Oh, it doesn't even start you from like the beginning of the uh, dungeon. It actually starts you right where you saved. That's actually something that it has one up on games like Link to the Past. Because if you reload a save in Link to the Past, it always places you at the entrance to the dungeon. Never like, you know, specifically where you saved. Interesting. Oh, wait. There we go. Alright, second floor. Looks like this. Okay. Oh, can I jump over here? Maybe I can. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. Okay, that thing died. Oh, shit. Looks like a ghost. It should be affected by magic, not by swords. That was a risk, I know. Oh, this is a dead end, okay. Still level nine. It's 
good animation though. Jump animation at least. Oh shit. Hey, level 10. Achievement un unlocked. Level up. Number 3. Refreshing the achievement list down below. There's an exit there. This is a dead end. This might be a dead end. We go, yeah, okay, everything is a dead end here. Okay. So it doesn't zap me when this cloud is like giving me lightning. It just makes it so that my sword goes through it. He's like invulnerable for a while. I mean, that's also an aspect, I guess. <laughs> that's one way of doing it. over here there are three okay there's three maybe four no three ways of go moving upwards wait where, where am I I don't think I've been here oh yeah look at that that's it there's a... Uh, yeah, okay. 100 gold! Hell yeah! Raiding castles for money! There we go. I got a comment today on my very first episode of Blood Ties. Somebody was like, this is a great start on a, of a series, you know? And I was like, oh, thank you. And he's like, yeah, I, I just um, applied for whitelist. I'm like, oh, cool. I didn't even know fo people were going back to the beginning to watch the, uh, the series. Then again, I guess if it's a new person who has no experience with the series so far, then... It makes sense. Even so, I was a little bit shocked. I was like, oh shit, okay, cool. I told him, like, there are things that I would have done different, or, like, improved a little bit with. Um, if I could do, if I, if I could go back and redo it. Sometimes I look at the, the older episodes and I'm like, oh man, I could have, uh, I could have done this better and yada yada yada. Okay, there's nothing here. What was that? Okay, it's just a shadow.
Crossy! Oh, I have a large shield! Nice! Cheers, Crossy, how are you? Oh no, my ice is gone. Är du fortfarande deprimerad eller är du, är du lite gladare nu? Eller är du... <laughs> eller är du trött? We are still trying to find a way to the boss here. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? What's going on? There we go. Glad, okay. Är det för att du är från Shavely? Oh yeah, I need to uh, equip the larger shield. Large shield, achievement unlocked. Switching so that the uh, achievement list down below will be uh, refreshed. <laughs> For anybody wondering, we have a little bit of an inside joke here. Oh, you can actually see the, uh, the large shield on this guy. I feel like when you use the sword, like left or right, it works well, but when you do it up or down, it doesn't work as well. It's like they have to be really close. I don't know if I'm going the right way right now. Uh... Uh... I feel like this is where I was. Yeah, this is where I started. I came all the way back to where I started. What the hell? Uh. I really would need a map here. Men det var väl själva fan. Jesus. So, Kwasi, uh, what's your plan for tomorrow? What is your plan for the weekend? What are you gonna do uh, this Saturday and Sunday? I don't know where I am supposed to go. Da -da -da -da. I went here, yeah. And then down. Oh, that was it. Okay, now I understand. I, yeah, okay, I circle, I circulated around. Yeah, I circled around. Mm 
Okay, I've already been here. Oh shit! Boom, 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 boom. Pew, pew. been here. Hmm. There's nothing that way. Okay, we'll go this way then. Uh, this could be it. This might be it, actually. Hang on. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Mm. We might have to play a little bit earlier tomorrow. Because tomorrow I am going to meet a friend um, in the afternoon. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe it's going to be in the evening, so maybe we can play in the afternoon, I don't know. It all depends, we'll see. Um, okay, that is the, gotcha, gotcha. No, I, what you're gonna do tomorrow, Quasi, is you're gonna tame a raptor. You are gonna tame a raptor. Jesus. Bow, bow, bow. Theater Funky Bra. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, were you waiting for me all that time? No, no, not more Dillos. I mean, okay, fine. You know what? You're gonna tame enough Dillos so that you have a small Dillo army. Like, you know, like 10 Dillos or something. Maybe even 20. They don't really do that much damage, I mean, to higher level dinosaurs. But with enough of them, they might be able to swarm the enemy, but then you're you're really gonna need a lot of them, like a lot. Like super many. Okay, I can't go that way. <gasps> oh, okay. Excuse me. And you know what we're gonna do when you have your your uh, uh, Dillo army? We're gonna have you go through the cave. Your Dillo, you're gonna have to take on the cave and get the artifact of the hunter. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! This is a boss fight. This is a boss fight. Gonna burn them. Oh shit! 
I can't use magic. Oh no, I can't use magic at all? What? Holy shit. Okay. Uh. Wait a minute. Doesn't the shield do anything? Not even touching him. What? It's so it's so interesting. Remember when we played Adam's Family and I said, "Why is the game the level so hard, but the bosses are ridiculously easy?" Here, it's the other way around. The levels, while not easy but they're they're like manageable although they're confusing but they're not like tough to get through you just have to know where to go but the bosses in this game are just insane and i can't use magic why can't i use magic this is so annoying uh Look at the look at the reach here. What? I can't even touch him. Okay, you're there's some trick to this. There must be something I'm doing wrong here. I get it, I get it, uh, but I don't know. get it. I honestly don't get it. I'm serious. I cannot touch him. There's no way to touch this boss. Can I actually go back? Well, okay. That's actually something that's cool, at least. You can actually go back and save if you want to. At least go back and catch your breath. How? Okay, let me see here. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, we could, we could actually try... Could try, um, see if jumping helps. Oh, okay. Let 
Nope, that didn't help. Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Go and watch a video. Yeah, I can do that probably, but I mean, I'm on, I think I'm onto something here. Possibly. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. No. What annoys me the most is I thought I could actually have the stand a chance against the bosses now that I have magic. But with the bosses, I can't use magic. For some reason. How is that fair? That that isn't fair. And another thing, with this game... <sighs> like, the hurt box, when you take damage... Like, there, there's... When you, ha when you have, like, a, a good game, or like a, one of the later games for the Super Nintendo, when you take damage, you take one, uh, like, health uh, indicator, or, like, health... health marker for the lack of a better word you take one health marker and usually you're like knocked back and you have a, a period of post invincible post hit invincibility here this game does the exact same error that turrican does meaning that you can stand you can walk into an enemy and stand there and your health bar just goes Ugh! you know like it doesn't notify you it doesn't like push you back or anything it, it okay it does push you back it does but because you can touch the boss here for so long <laughs> your health bar just drains almost completely um and that's not a good way of doing things All right, fine. Let's watch a video. I'm not above doing that. I don't know what this boss is called, though. Uh, Lagoon Phil Philippines? No, not Philippines. Phillips Castle. There we go. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's like, oh, God damn it. Fucking commercial. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's just a soundtrack. No. Fuck off. Uh... Mm -hmm. There you go. All bosses plus ending or something. Oh, really? That's how you're supposed to do? 
Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I mean, I kind of was musing about doing this, but I figured there must be an easier way. But apparently, you're just supposed to stand at an angle from the boss and wait. And when he's like, because he's, he keeps shooting at you, so you're going to have to time it down so that you walk up to him and like land two hits on him, then walk back, then walk up again, land two hits on him, then walk back. <sighs> Very well. No, I need to be on the other side, since the sword arm is in the right arm. Yeah. I know, right? We might as well save here just to, like, get back to this point. So we're supposed to do this. Oh, no, no, no. You see, there goes my entire health bar. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm actually gonna use this. Wow. Oh my god! Oh, I hate this! It's... How are you supposed to, like, determine the distance? It's gotta be, like, pixel perfect every time. Look. Oh my god. Either you're too... <laughs> Either you're one pixel away, and that makes you not hit it, or you're one pixel too close, and that makes you take damage. This is... this... this is an atrocious game. And I'm sad to say it, actually, because I kind of wanted to like this game, because I have it, like, in my collection. So I was like, yeah, I wanna... I wanna... I wanna go through it. I mean, okay, I guess every collection needs its share of bad games. But this is, like, a whole other net level, you know? <laughs> I didn't even walk up! <laughs> oh, good lord. How did I not hit there? Wait. Okay, I... Okay, besides the bosses, this game is kind of bland. It's kind of simple and bland. But the bosses pulls it down to awful level. The bosses are the absolute worst aspects of this game. The, the, the uh, I, I have no words for it. <laughs> okay. Am I seriously gonna have to do that? Like, go... Oh my god. One hit and then back. It's gonna take 
fucking forever. Oh, uh, unless I'm like killing myself off. Ooh, okay. Fuck. <sighs> uh, in game saves doesn't work at bosses. At least, I don't think so. No, it doesn't. Nope. No, I jumped instead of hitting. It's a wonder that anybody went through this game. I'm, I am about, I'm like... I mean, it might have to... I, it might be the only way I'm going to get through this game. Power saving. It's... I don't want to, but I mean... There is no way that this is going to be like... Look. Either... Oh, you're so... Either you're there getting hurt or you're missing. How? The sword was literally in the face! Okay, yeah, we're power saving here. I'm sad to have to do that, though, because it's like... I don't want to do it, but... Can... Nope. This is just... This just feels so... Fucking sheet cheap. But what else can I do, you know? Even with power saving, it's frustrating. <sighs> Look, we've gotten in like how many hits? 10 hits on him now, and he's still like so, uh, so much ahead of me. Can there be one good boss in this game? Like a good, solid, well-designed boss. I mean, NES bosses were better than this. You know that the dragon boss in the, Le the first Legend of Zelda? That was better than this. This is horrible. This is the worst boss design I've ever seen. down to to even now at least yeah worst okay give me an example of something that's worse than this and i will give you my opinion gives me motivation to look up the worst boss to sign ever go ahead Ah! 
Wait, maybe I can... button. Okay. I was, I'm so bummed out. You know why? Because last night when we beat the first boss, I actually did it with a tiny amount of skill and also a lot of luck, but you know, like I really felt like I earned it. Because I was li like literally spamming the button and getting through him, it was like a something that I was accomplishing. Here, it's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm legitimately sad about this. No, no. <sighs> I thought this state slot was save state, so I went down one. Oh my god. Where are we? I mean, okay, we're starting over. Sure. Great. And did you see that? That took half my health bar. One hit took half my health bar. I try to look it up, but Google is too much into fashion that it couldn't give me anything reasonable. Okay. Fashion? Really? Jesus. Then you know it's bad. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Good lord. Yeah, Elden Ring has nothing on this game. I would like to see an Elden Ring player play these bosses. Absolutely, absolutely. I would like to see them go up against the especially this one especially this one good luck man and i mean of course without saving Ah, ah, shit. I almost don't even want to play this game because I know now that this is just so badly designed. But I'm kind of committed to it now. Ugh. Like, I just want to get through it. Hate you. Hate you so much, I want you to die. <sighs> hey, Anissa. Cheers. Wow. 
wait. Wait a minute. What if I... That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because it because it's uh, liable not to work. Because it's hard enough to get close to it without getting injured. Having to dodge its projectiles is near impossible to do while trying to land a hit on it. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. But I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get close enough to it from the side, like, before I get hurt. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, I can't get close enough. I can't get close enough. I knew it. I knew it. Piece of shit. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can't get that close. Fuck. I just want to see if I can get close enough from the side because the problem is like if we stand in front of him He's gonna do the charge attack. So that's not an option You can only attack once every sec what You can only attack no no I can't attack like how we've been doing it like whenever whenever he doesn't shoot um, I can't attack at all if we're doing this countdown thing because I can't get close enough. No. Nope. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the sixth one from that one, from my save. Actually, we should we should do this. Hang on. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's save here instead. So that it's, there's only one attack and then we know. Wait, what? Load. One, two, what? Three, four, 
five, six. I thought I saved. One, two, three, four, five, six. Save. Fucking douchebag. Okay. This is a good place to for me to just try and see if I can get close enough. No. Look at this. It's, I'm too, it's, it's that fucking pixel perfect placement. Pixel perfect placement. The fucking thing I hate more than anything in these early SNES games. I can only attack from the front. Yeah, it looks like that. It looks... It looks to be like that. Yeah, it looks that way. And yeah, that's going to have me just have to do the whole power saving thing. Or... I mean, I can go in between. I can go. I can pretty much go almost every time he fires, but I'm not that quick to as, so as to not take any damage. The guy on YouTube, of course, could because he's a god, apparently. Why do they have to do this, make these bosses so ridiculously hard? Is this even worth playing? I mean, I keep I, th that question is like constantly present in my mind right now. Okay, all right, fine, fine. We'll just attack every seventh attack then. Two, three. Okay, so it's a third one here. Okay, fine. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Okay, that didn't work out the way I planned it, but uh, sure. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Three, uh, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> Did anyone see my sword go straight through his nose and not hit anything? Two, three, four, five, 
six. Okay, that was okay. That was on me. I was way too far away. Five, six. Okay, I I don't know what you want from me, game. Like I'm there hitting you, and you are not allowing me to hit you. How did anybody beat this game? Legit. I don't understand. You know what would be so much more you know you know the single thing here that would make this a bearable fight maybe i dare say even a fun fight a fun boss battle allow the fucking magical projectiles Instead, we got we got to do this. Exactly. Okay, this might be because we've actually brought his health halfway. I remember the uh, Samson boss, he had like a, a rage meter too. As soon as you got halfway, he, he started like slicing three times instead of one. And now apparently there's no pause. This is not about like battling and playing a game. This is about repositioning re yourself so that you have the. This goes against everything that I want to use save states for. This, I don't want to, but it's fucking necessary. Thank you. I 
kind of feel like I just want to mash it now. Maybe one more time. It's so close. Okay, one more time. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No. <laughs> It's like three hits on him, and he only needs to kill me with like one or two hits. Oh. Oh. Wait. No, no, what? Wait a minute. I didn't, uh, what? Okay, I'm saving number seven here, but, and number eight, but, if we go back... Really? What? Wait, wait, what? This cannot have been a thing from the beginning. Can it? Wait, wait, how did that... How did that... No, I don't think so, because he's actually moving up there. This must have been something that came about from the halfway time... The rage... The rage event, like, when he, like, ups his abilities. I'm assuming. Yeah, look at this. Wait, 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 wait. If I just get in the proper position... Wait. I feel like... I feel like he should do it. By the way, that shield is completely useless. If it can't block against projectiles, it's like... Dude. Look! Look! I mean... It's not the... It's not a guarantee, though. I mean, I, it, you did get him to charge forward constantly, but here he was also f shooting projectiles, and I was not really able to position myself properly for the things. I, I don't think I don't think it's a guaranteed technique uh, or strat. I don't think it's a guaranteed strat. So I reiterate: this boss is ridiculously unfair because of the. Pixel perfect placement. That is a thing now. That is a coin. That is a term that I coin. Pixel perfect placement. Shitty game design, especially by boss battles or at boss battles. Triple P. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Oh, I defeated Nutella. Now I just want Nutella. I don't have any at home. Oh, I get the silver sword, do I? Oh, it looks longer. Does it have longer reach? 
Let me see. No. <laughs> of course it doesn't. Oh my god. Reach a solution. Good lord. Okay, now what? Where am I supposed to go? Uh, am I just supposed to walk back the entire way? What? what? Yeah, th this would have been useful. This would definitely have been useful. Who the hell? designed this game the way that projectiles the magic is not allowed at boss fights that person needs to well i'm not going to say it uh, live but you can imagine what i want that person to feel okay So am I just supposed to walk the entire way back? I don't know. Yeah, the question is if they... I don't even know if they were competent enough to to do something with intent here. It feels like they... they thought that was a good idea, and then it's like... No, it really wasn't. I mean, I, I wonder if they play-tested this. Who play-tested this? Did anyone at fucking Chemco? Yeah, that should give you the first clue right there. I mean, who knows about Chemco today? But did anyone at Chemco ever play-test, especially their boss fights? <laughs> Chemco. Sounds like a laundry detergent. Can I jump here? Yeah, I could. Nice. Okay, let's go back.
Oh wait, we have the silver sword now. Yeah, we do. I don't. I don't know. Maybe double damage. Hey, we got 46. Is the cap for the magic particle now? Wait, this is. Uh... Yeah, this is the. This is the lobby. This is the ground floor. Should be able to get out here. Somewhere down here. Ah, there we go. Good. I'm guessing we're supposed to... Oh, now this is actually open. Okay, fine. I don't even know... Okay. Uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dwarf Desert. Okay, wait. Before we go there, let's go back to the uh, village of Volo and see if they say anything else to me. Because th this feels like we're moving on to the next area. Yeah, now we kill these guys with just one hit. <laughs> Good job. Ever heard of Dwarf Desert? It's filled with dwarves. Nah, then... Why is it called Dwarf Desert? Oh, it's because it's dwarfed by all the other deserts near nearby. Um, there is a clue, though, as to the naming pattern. I think they just named it after the stereotypical fantasy characters. Because this field we were just in, the first field, it's called Elf Field. So you got Elf Field, Dwarf Desert. What do we have next? Orc Mountains? Human lake? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Gnome forest? <laughs> I don't know. Hobbit uh, volcano? Alright. So, am I supposed to go back here or. Uh, Donegal, but you'll have to see her. <sighs> Yeah, right. Yeah, I know. Thank you, this village will become peaceful again. Okay, so... This is all we needed to... Okay. Could have just said, like, now... You can move on to... Whatever. There's, I'm telling you now, there is no way that people got through these bosses. I mean, 99% of the people who bought this game, I cannot believe that they actually managed to get through these bosses when you don't have, like, save states or anything. I mean, you can't save at a boss battle. You can save right before the boss battle. But, like...
if you can't save during the boss battle, it it's very unlikely for them to be able to do it. No, I actually don't want anything here. Alright. Well, okay. Ah, screw this village then. Honestly, I'm not I'm not even gonna play anymore tonight. I'm honestly I'm fucking exhausted from that whole thing. I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be wrapping things up once we get to fucking entrance of dwarf desert again. Fucking stop. <laughs> God damn you, game. I wanted to like you. I wanted to try... Like, I wanted to... Oh. And I chose this as the only RPG we're gonna do this Super Nintendo Summer. Great. Sometimes you really pick... You know, the pig in the bag. As we say here in Sweden. save here yeah I already know what the description for this um, game is gonna be in the prog in the progress list bland game stupefyingly unfair boss fights. Um, I think that was it. Close content. Yes. Thank you. Alright. That is gonna have to be it for tonight, guys. Uh, we're gonna see if we can raid someone. So if you wanna be a part of the raid, um, stay tuned, or stay here. And, uh, We'll be doing the raid as soon as I'm done with my credit sequence. Uh, before we go into the credit sequence, sequence, sequence. Here is the list that I was talking about. That you can go to my progression list and view my retro game, retro games progression uh, via that link. And uh, there you'll see all the games that I've done so far that of that are of a Nintendo make and retro by definition and uh, it started somewhere in 2017 and uh, well, you can also see what's uh, to come in that uh, list as well you'll also be uh, able to join my discord here if you go in through that link um, that's where uh, you will uh, get you will be able to go to my official discord which is the official discord for this channel Excuse me very much. That is where you get the latest news and updates regarding this channel. Please be advised that if you do join, it is highly recommended that you connect your Twitch account with your Discord account in order to get the proper roles, and you do that by managing integrations in the Discord settings. Um, I think that is it for tonight, guys. Tomorrow is Friday. I don't think I'm, I'm going to be <laughs> streaming fucking Lagoon on a Friday. Absolutely not. No. We're not streaming tomorrow, period. However, I will return on Monday, um, and we will return to uh, Archive 64 and GoldenEye 007. Uh, no, I can't. We're in Super Nintendo Summer, Elder. I thought you knew me. <laughs> um, Monday, we're going to do GoldenEye 007. Uh, we're going to continue in GoldenEye 007. Which, what level are we at? Uh, the depot. Yeah, we're gonna do the train depot, and 
also the train, at least, because those are the two next levels. Um, and then we're gonna be doing... Uh, uh, we're gonna continue with Super Nintendo uh, Summer on Tuesday, so we'll see what happens then. Yeah, the rules are set for a reason. I can't escape my own rules, you know? Um, because I want, I want some kind of consistency in this channel. Like, I don't want, I don't just want everything to be all over the place. I have a set plan. I want to follow it. You know? Uh, um, and at least I'm not giving up. A little, kind of. <laughs> Which is surprising for me. So, I'll take a little bit of credit for actually sticking to my guns. You know, at least doing what I set out to do. Following plans isn't always easy for people. No, especially if you have high blood pressure and are prone to rage because of stupid game design. But, like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to actually finish this game. But, we'll see. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do it. I'm just hoping against hope that the next boss battle isn't going to be as ridiculously... As ridiculous as this one. Um, so, yeah. We'll see, I guess. So, Tuesday, get ready for Dwarf Desert. Whatever that is. Um, and Monday, we'll be playing GoldenEye. Until then, guys. I hope you have a good weekend. And I will be seeing you. And uh, uh, make sure to enjoy the summer. Because uh, the summer has been good so far. And... Uh, yeah, you remember my device. Always remember to keep the retro legacy alive. This is Eagle 83 wishing you the best. Take care. Yeah, I'm gonna be raid. I'm gonna be raiding someone after. Uh, you know what? We could just check it up already. See if anybody's worth raiding. <laughs> Yesterday I raided Angry Joe Show when he was playing board games uh, because I just I just went for it because he was in my list. Um, I do like Ang Angry Joe, but he didn't really need my raid. He, they didn't even recognize my raid there, so... Well, one guy did, but I don't think he was part of the staff. Um, maybe I will be raiding... Okay. Alright, okay. Only think of you as a drop of... Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. I mean, I can raid if I want to. It doesn't matter. I, I don't lose anything by, by raiding them. So, it's not like I'm like, I'm never going to raid them again because they're big. You know, it, I can do it once or twice, you know. But it's better, absolutely, objectively, if I raid somebody else um, that might actually appreciate it. Um, and I think I know who we are going to raid now. Yes. So, guys, I will be uh, saying goodbye to, to you now. And uh, if you want to be a part of the raid, stay tuned until after the credits. Uh, take care. Have a great weekend. Good night and goodbye.